visualizations of processes related to explosions or bullet trajectories um, are some part of my work that I'm doing. The, this came about more accidentally than anything else and I was primarily interested in getting as much information about the flow field and in the process I happened to generate images that could be looked upon as parts of art. I wouldn't consider myself an artist by no means um, and it's nature that does the art and I'm just there to capture it. Instead of a, uh, a brush or a, a, um, a chisel and a hammer to sort of sculpture something or some other tools, I use optical equipment to capture this. So I visualize something that is um, also invisible at the beginning. The visualization of flows, uh, of air flows, is difficult in the sense that air is transparent. With the advent of high-speed video cameras that can, uh, that allow you to take these pictures of these very transient, very fast-moving uh, phenomena with frame rates of up to a million frames per second. artists actually recognize the potential that is in there, it might be that we have um, these images being taken almost entirely for the purpose of creating an artistic picture. So we might see something like this hanging in a museum.